Okay, welcome to the Swing Trading with Cycles channel. We're going to do an update on uranium here. It is de December 6th. We've been talking about how things have been consolidating. It was a bear flag. The bear flag is breaking down. Let's look at the spot uranium ETF from Sprout first. Let's look at the monthly chart. If you think about how to evaluate something, like should I get in? Is it clearly bullish? Is it clearly bearish? Is it somewhere in between? You always start with the higher time frames. Look at the higher time frame here, folks. Monthly chart. This is our current monthly candle December. What is it? Red. That's your first thing you want to observe. Red or green? Red good, green Excuse me. Red bad, green good. In this case, red. Not good. What's the other thing you want to check? Is it making higher highs or is it making lower lows? What is this doing? It's making lower lows. It's a low below this low, the low from last month, which is actually also a red candle. So it's been going down for the last couple of months and we're below last month's low. That's not good. That tells you the lower time frames could be green, but the higher time frame is putting downward pressure. What is our weekly chart? It's it's red. So you're now starting to see a pattern, right? Like there's a lot of sell pressure on this thing, on the monthly chart and now on the weekly. Let's look, look over at CCJ. Let's think about some specific levels here. We talked about this bear flag building. Look at this thing, eight weeks of building. And then finally, wham, we're hitting the underside of the barrier, right? You had like this little, you had, you had, a, you had a little range from... $25 down to 22 and then you got a little range that goes from $26 to 2180 we're now breaking through that lower bound and now we're headed for the low of this candle because all of this is consolidation inside this candle I hope you notice I'll start deleting these so that it's easier to see right all consolidation folks the consolidation is breaking down the bear flag is breaking down. It is breaking lower. So you expect that this will, is going to take this low out and then probably then some. You probably start to take out these pivots. 18 is the area I'd be looking for for CCJ. That's where you might get a, a, a bigger reversal. That's probably your weekly cycle low. This is your weekly cycle decline. This is where we topped. And look how we've been rolling over ever since. The good news is we've been rolling over for a little while now, right? Like this has been... So we had a top on week 10, and this is currently week 23. So it's late, and so we should probably get our, our low, if not this week, then next week, and we'll see a bounce. But we are declining into the three-year cycle low, so be careful. I would not be looking to buy this thing with both hands. Um, let's move on to Paladin. Paladin, similar situation. Again, let's look at the monthly chart. What is it? It's red. Is it below last month's low? Not yet, but it's getting there. Weekly consolidating inside this range about to break down i see this pivot as an obvious magnet to the downside that's at 35 cents we're up here at 49 cents you can do the math on that can alaska how's this one looking this pivot looks like it's going to be tested down at 20 cents we're at 28 cents here so almost 30 percent downside that's a weekly chart your monthly chart we're not below last month's low but notice this whole move has been in consolidation inside this larger range and that has a low down your 20 cents area that we just talked about. So it wouldn't be surprised to see that level tested. If it does not hold, then we could be in store for a bigger move down to the 86 cent area. That would obviously not be great. Base load energy. Let's look at base load energy. Oh my God. This is like, I mean, things don't get much vertical, like much more of a steep decline than this. Yikes. That is just ugly. In terms of the end, you looking at a chart and say, do I want to be long? This in this case, absolutely not. Um, we're going to test this pivot next, the low of this pivot, I should say. That's around 32 cents. If that can't hold, we're probably taking a trip down to all time lows. That is base load energy. Let's look at Appia, rare earths, and uranium. So, this is actually has a little, um, um, a little lower wick, which means we're actually rallying here on these lower time frames. So, that's good to know about. So this is one of the ones that's kind of bucking the trend, but bigger picture, we're clearly in a downtrend, so I wouldn't get too excited here, and I'd say we're probably, yeah, we're still moving into a weekly cycle low, this is our top here, although, who knows, maybe we're getting that bounce here, like on this week, but again, we're moving into a three-year cycle low, so we would expect, we would expect even the next weekly cycle is going to be left translated, have an early top, roll over, and continue the weekly cycle decline. Notice this is all happening below the 200-week moving average. That's always in yellow on these charts. Goviex will stay on the weekly chart for now. Woof! Look how this thing sliced through the 200-week moving average and then just keep kept moving lower. You'd expect it's going to check back to that as support, but this one is going to continue to drop. 
and your next like logical area is in between here, right? Like look how look how long the price action oscillated in between, like basically in that general kind of range. And so I suspect we're gonna kind of chop around in there in here for a little or I should say you would expect that we'll test the under the upper side of this and if we can't hold that, we're gonna enter this no man's land between call it twelve cents and nine cents. Um, what's next? Let's look at you, 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 energy fuels. That one is ominously hovering above the 200 week moving average. I see 480 in the cards for this one. You can see again, similar story to with all these. We've had a lot of consolidation the last several months. If we're starting a real trending move, that could mean we're going to test the lower end of those consolidation boxes. For Denison, that is roughly 91 cents. Right, so that's another 20-ish percent down from there. If that does not hold, we enter no man's land between 95 cents and 63 cents, roughly speaking. Um, let's look at Uroy. Look at this consolidation box for Uroy on the monthly, right? I mean, if this thing breaks down, that gets ugly. We could see a dollar, but it is actually one of the stronger ones right now. You expect that we get down to this area here, like around the $2 even area, $2.10 that we probably see a strong bounce. That's probably where we work our way towards in this daily cycle decline. That's still a lot of downside from here because we're sitting at 250. Um, let's look at yellow cake uranium. So this one is making you lows on the monthly as well. I, I, I expect the pullback to around the 300 area here. What about elevate uranium? Hmm, easily see a pullback to the 34 cent area more likely down to around 25 cents this kind of obvious pivot you see this line drawn here and again you can see on the weekly chart just a clear series of lower highs right that's not good kind of a vertical move lower here which means we're going to get a violent reversal soon well not necessarily soon at some point because things can't just fall off a cliff like that forever at some point it's going to need a retracement what about next gen next gen it's one this is one of the better performing ones but nothing gets spared the baby gets thrown out with the bathwater. In this case, we actually just topped out last week. So the other ones have been rolling over for a long period of time. So this tells you that this is not going to decline for as many weeks as the other things. But we probably at least test the $3.40 area, which is a pretty good amount of downside from here. That is your weekly. And you look at the monthly, you can see that area, that 340 highlighted there. Looks like a logical place to test and still would not break monthly structure, would still remain quite bullish, actually. Because Prom, that one looks like it's headed to 24, and if that can't hold, we're going to visit 22, potentially. Um, ugh, ugly downtrend on this one. What about Vision Uranium? What do we have going on? So this is one of the stronger ones. You want to watch for this one. Big green candle last month, the low of 45 cents. We're up here at 60 cents. So if we were to fall, that'd be about a 25% drop, but... You imagine we get a strong bounce there, there, that there are buyers. Look at these wicks here. Like, there are buyers that came in here. So that actually might be a great opportunity to pick this up for a discount. But again, have to see how that pullback actually happens in real time. And if we think about the weekly chart, similar to NextGen, we just topped out last week. So these are both these have both been running while the rest of the uranium has been in a downtrend on the weekly chart. So that's important to know about. But again, this weekly view shows you if we break down below this level, you can see us wipe out all these gains, find ourselves down in the sort of 47 cent area. Uh, Encore Energy, this one is not looking great. Hovering ominously above the 200 week. What is the monthly chart? So the monthly chart tells us if we slip below 210, we could see ourselves down in a dollar. So massive downside potential here because everything is being held up by this big rally candle from December 2020. That's an interesting one to watch. And finally, Fission 3.0. The strongest of the bunch. Look at this monthly chart. My God, the last few days of November ended really strong. And look at this massive November green candle. It took out all of these months of downside, got taken out in one month. I mean, imagine all these stops got triggered. Chop, 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 chop. Now we're just kind of consolidating here at the upper end of the range. And if we zoom into the weekly chart, we can see we want to hold like above here. So let's think about what was a low from this week of 80, well, uh, 8 cents. Whoa, wow, wait, is that right? No, the low is 20 cents. So we really want to hold around 20. And I mean, even if, if we fell down to 20 cents, that would be a 30% drawdown from here. But think about the fact that we rallied well over 100%. We wouldn't really be giving back much of the rally at all. 
it would actually be quite healthy. So you can see a world where that's what this daily cycle decline or weekly cycle decline looks like. Not a huge move that takes out all of that. But like you imagine, you know, just not to belabor the point, but just to be super clear, instead of going to the moon, we kind of just chop around here for a little bit, right? And then finally you get your move up, right? So now is not the time to jump in for sure. There's probably going to be quite a bit of chop and there's going to be many opportunities to set oneself up for a breakout. But Fission 3, that's interesting. F-U-U is the ticker symbol. That's a new one that's going to be on my radar. Someone made a request on YouTube. Thank you for that. Um, so this actually looks stronger than most of the others. Um, and if we think about what that did to the quarterly chart, let's just pull that up really quickly here. Yep, so it gave us a quarterly swing low and took out all these down, like all those months also added up to quarters, right? So we took out all of this and now it's a question of do we get all up in here, right? You know, into the 50 cent range. This is a nice little setup here, especially if we get, especially if this thing comes down with the rest of uranium for this weekly cycle low, might could set up a really nice buy along with potentially fission uranium, which is interesting. Both of the ones with fission in their names are, are doing well. But that's our that's our lay of the land for uranium. We will leave it at that. We'll continue to track the space. It is moving into a three-year cycle low. You need to be patient. But if you're one of those diehard uranium bulls, there's a few things you could be looking at. Again, fission 3.0, fission um, uranium is one of them. Look at the way it's just been consolidating these last few days. This is a really interesting one, right? So one, two, three, four, five. So it's consolidated in this range for five days, just like up here. A break below, call it $26, $0.26, cents, excuse me, means we now enter this next like range of price discovery. So you'll want to watch for that as, a, as, a, as an example. But we will leave it at that, folks. Thanks for watching.